I'm Jalen Bradley, and Go to Movement saved my career. I'm back with you guys today. I got my guy Jalen with me again. If you've seen the podcast, you saw my guy. He talked about his stories in his career. But today, he's going to talk about one of his passions. Most of the game is all about talking about athletes' passions, no matter how big or how small. So today, he's going to talk about Gota and how that changed his career and changed his life. All right, Jalen, I know you talked to me. You told me that you had some problems with your hips. Yeah. So uh, can you tell the people really what you had going on with your body at that time? Yeah, so I had a very tight IT band pain and as well as some internal, like, the ball and socket, like the joint. I had joint pain as well. And so I'm, I'm the type of guy who's worked really hard in the weight room. I stretch, I take care of my body, I eat right, sleep right. I try to do everything quote unquote right. And for me to have problems there and then knickknack injuries like a, a calf strain or a hamstring strain, I knew something was wrong. So that's when I was able to discover go to movement on Instagram. So you say you found on Instagram, like so you just was scrolling on Instagram, you just saw it, like how did you yeah. really come in contact to it and why did you try it? Well, we all know that Instagram has the algorithms. If you like one topic, other things will pop up, um, you know, give you more things in that topic. And so yeah. I was kind of desperate. I was reaching out to every physical therapist, watching all the, you know, rehab type stuff on Instagram and I actually just came across their page and they said something a little bit different than everybody else so that naturally got my attention and that's how i kind of looked into it more and more their page is full of stuff and i ended up reaching out to them and working with them directly okay that's, that's tough that's tough yeah so what are your views on the whole process and all the training that you've done so far like what do you have to say about it to keep it short and simple like it i swear by it it changed my career it changed my body um, i'm confident in everything moving forward and just i don't know i just believe in it like crazy so all right so can you really explain to the people what gota is like what does okay. it stand for just the whole theory behind it yeah gota stands for greatest of all time actions or greatest of all time athletes and so the gota guys that are based out of new orleans they essentially took athletes and viewed them on slow motion video camera and they looked at the movement patterns so they looked at athletes who got hurt athletes who didn't get hurt the best athletes in the world 90 year old people who can still walk and jog babies people who have pain injury just your normal everyday people and they looked at all the different movement qualities in slow motion and compared and contrast and it's it's black and white like one moves one way one moves the other the people who move right don't get hurt the best athletes all move this way the people who get hurt have pain all move the opposite so okay. Okay. they kind of it's it's basically um observation based observation based through slow motion video. All right, so now we're gonna have Jalen show me some of the movements to demo some of the techniques that he uses. The, the thing I'm gonna focus on most is um, injury prevention, right? That's the reason why I got into it. Obviously, if you move properly, it'll boost your athleticism and speed and all that stuff, but let's focus on injury prevention or how injuries happen, okay? So you've had an ACL injury and every ACL injury looks the same. It's when your knee caves in, right? Yeah, definitely. And so, a lot of times what we do in the weight room is it's what what you do in the weight room is teaching your nervous system what to do um, subconsciously or naturally on an athletic field or on the basketball court. So I was taught, for example, to wide stance squat, push through your heels and through your big toe. And if you watch an ACL injury when somebody plants, they're pushing off their big toe, their heel hits the ground, their knee caves in. That's the same mechanism as a wide stance squat. And you see the videos when people get tired, they yeah. cave their knee in. So that's just one simple example. So go to really starts with your feet, how your feet interact with the ground. So they teach weight on the outside of your foot rather than your big toe or your heel. You play basketball, you run on the balls of your feet. So you want to train on the balls of your feet. Okay, mm -hmm. so get rid of squatting on your heels and start squatting with the weight on the outside of your foot on the balls of your feet, okay? Now, how your feet interact with the ground, you know, affects the rest of your leg. If I'm on the outside of my foot, look where my knee goes. Mm -hmm. My knee goes out. So if I'm landing like this, my knee's not going in like this, how an ACL happens, okay? Yeah. So if I'm outside of my foot, that creates what they call inside ankle bone high. Every injury happens when your inside ankle bone goes low. Okay. Okay. So if you watch every injury, like the inside ankle goes low, the Achilles, inside ankle bone low, 
So it starts with your feet, goes to your ankle. Now it's how your knee, your knee is out versus in, okay? Depending on how your foot is touching the ground. And then when you release energy, the other thing that the sports performance industry does wrong is everything is 2D, linear, like, and when you, when you watch slow motion video, athletes move in rotation, their body moves, they flow through energy, they call it spirals or energy waves. Yeah. So when you release energy, your hip should internally rotate and your heel should go away from your body. So if you watch little kids run, they all do this. They'll run and their heel will go away, which is your hip internally rotating. So if you think about why stand squatting again, my hips are externally rotating right here. Uh -huh. So they teach internally rotating your hips. So it's almost like everything I was taught is all about getting you stronger, but you're sacrificing or creating diminishing returns through pain and injuries down the line because your body was not designed to move that way. So let's start with just a basic lunge. Um, the industry teaches us to have our, our um, torso straight, stiff core. Goda teaches shift side to side with your upper body. I'm gonna focus more on the feet and the legs today. Like, it's, Goda's your whole body, but let's focus on the feet, knees, and hips, okay? So, when I lunge, rather than being straight right here, I'm gonna be on the balls of my feet, the outside of my foot, and I'm gonna put the weight over my landing leg, okay? So, instead of just doing a regular lunge like this where everything's straight, I'm gonna be on the balls of my feet and put the chest and knee 22 and a half degrees pointing down, okay? So that creates what we call a bow shape. My leg looks like a bow when I land. So I'll do, one, I'll do two walking lunges. Knee out, chest over knee. Knee out, chest over knee. So chest over leg. So here, chest here. Yeah, chest 22 and a half degrees out. There you go, there you go. You look like a runner now. <laughs> now come back. Straight, man. Foot straight. Get up on Get your heel up. Yep, get your heel up. Knee out, chest out. Towards me. Oh, it feels, I can feel it in like, yeah, I can feel it there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's the landing. When you land, no matter how you land, whether you're jumping, you land in a bow, you land on one leg in a bow, now let's focus on the releasing of energy, how you push off. If I push off my big toe, my heel is going to go in, my hip is going to externally rotate. All the guys who have hamstring injuries, they have this, and the hamstring is overworking right here, okay? So rather than leaving off your big toe, let's leave off the outside of our foot. I'm leaving off the outside, which creates that internal rotation of my hip. So same with the squat. Knees out to knees in. Lunge, foot out. Everything starts with your feet. When I squat, I'm actually pretty narrow with my stance now. You can actually probably lift more weight like this, but what are we doing in the weight room? What are we doing it for? To be better athletes on the field. So strength is one thing, but how it translates to the field is the most important thing. So I actually squat like this. I do a landmine version of a squat, so I don't have the bar as much anymore. Um, but I do like a landmine with bars like this. I'm on my toes, specifically the outside half of my foot. Yep. Feet straight. Feet are straight. Now when I go down, knees out. Knees out. Oh, feet straight. Okay. Feet straight. Knees out. Throw them out. There you go. Okay, good. When I started doing these squats, you probably understand this from the ACL we have, but the TFL activates naturally. I don't have to do the do knees. Just get it. But when I squat, that's the terminology. I land in a bow. I'm creating a bow shape with my legs. 
again, if I practice doing this, I'll always land like this. If, I, if I'm squatting like this, I'm gonna get that knee balance. Okay? So teach your nervous system to land in a bow. And when I release energy, I get that internal rotation like that. Track. Good straight underneath your knees. Up on your toes. Outside of your foot. There you go. Inside ankle high. Perfect. Knees out. Knees out. Good, good. Now rotate your heels from way up. Good. It's all right. Your feet a little closer. Just a little closer. There you go. Outside of your foot. Inside ankle high. Knees out. On the way down, lean forward a little bit. There you go. Knees out, to knees, rotate in there. Good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, again, if you watch anybody run, like uh, Olympic sprinters, uh, Usain Bolt, Michael Jordan, Barry Sanders, Ed Reed, the guys who are the greatest who never got hurt, they all have that. If you watch the slow motion video, they all land like this, and they get that quick little heel, which is your hip internally rotating. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. I appreciate my guy Jalen showing us the movements, demoing everything for us. Uh, if you like this episode, make sure you like it. Subscribe to the YouTube, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Also follow Jalen as well. Uh, look at the episode as well we had on the podcast with him. And all this stuff from the GOTA uh, and, their, and their people and their group will be on the screen as well. So we'll see you guys next time. It ain't about the shots that I take, about the ankles I break, about the hits that I make. About to, it's just more to the game. It's more to the game. It's just more to the game. It's just more to the game.